Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. Yes, I'm an upright metal now. Don't ask. I'm going to be in the process of re dyeing my hair. I don't know what color I'm going to do yet, but we're not here for that. We're here for the Hades Cup. I'm going to be showing you guys how to beat Quest 12, 13, and 14. Everyone's been asking how do you beat the Blizzard Lord and Volcano Lord? How do you beat Cloud and how do you beat Hades? I'm going to show you guys all the tips I know. I ran these quests over and over and over again, and I cannot find a way to tank Quest 12 properly without just being a pure tanking setup which i'm going to show you in a second so we're going to jump in and we're going to start with quest 12 hopefully something here can help you guys out uh quest 13 and 14 are a lot easier than this i feel like this is the damage check and it's a big damage check at that all right so for a legit setup i'm going to bring in this uh, i'll tell you now that you don't need any defense boost max to actually survive his their normal hits you are going to get a maximum of four turns off this but after that uh, it's pretty much just them smacking you across the face until you kill them properly. So the setup is exactly what I showed you guys before. You want to come in here with negative 60 aerial enemies uh, for your traits. But besides that, just bring your strongest metals possible. But anything that has negative 60 aerial is what you want to use. You don't really need overwrite for the first turn or actually any of the turns. If I'm not mistaken, they might just raise their buffs or something like that. But... You're fine with just bringing in your uh, Kyrie or Shion. I brought that in because it has second chance. I'm using Nomine, who has uh, a negative 60 aerial and extra attack on it. It is a tier 5, but it's copying a very, very, very powerful metal, so Supernova is not really needed there. Of course, my main damage dealer is that Master Xehanort, which is part of the banners right now, and I'm using all the copycat metals I have to try to copy it. Now, you can see here, everything's down, everything's up for me. They're going to go for an attack here. I'm not going to activate Supernovas right now just because I want to save them for later on. But you see how we survive those two hits? That is one turn for free right there. And that usually does happen. If it doesn't happen on the first turn, reset the fight and come back in. I don't know if it's triggered by HP bars or not. I'm just not certain at this point. So I am just going to say that first turn, you should get that. It can happen again, and it has happened multiple times. I even had a deadlock where I used Demix, copied it twice with extra attack copycat metal, and I had them restore HPs for like 10 turns in a row, but they were slowly dying. So it is a possibility that they, they can use that same move over and over again, but you can see how one used the weak move, one used the powerful move. I don't know if it's HP thresholds. Um, like I said, I had them around 29,000 bars of H, sorry, 290,000 bars of HP, and they would drop down to 18, 180,000, and then heal back up. Then went to 280, dropped to 170, healed back up until I slowly took away 10,000 bars of HP every turn, but they weren't killing me, so it kind of worked out. I don't know if it was because of the Demix lowering their strength to maximum or not, but that is something you guys can try out. So this is going to kill one of them, leaving them one behind. That's the, the strong attack. We had second chance, so we got to burst them down now. That's usually when you want to like save your single target supernova medals because you don't know which one's going to die first unless you're really focusing on one. But it is a damage check. There is RNG involved. You could get multiple turns where they both only do that little bit of damage to you, but it's seriously just a damage check. Worst case scenario for this, guys, if you can't beat it, I highly, highly recommend that you guys, if you have it, People who buy VIP definitely have it, but there was some of these tickets that were handed out for free. Not the normal skip tickets that you see over here. See how these ones are yellow? If you click on this arrow button, you might have these four skip tickets. They don't give you any of the rewards, but you can pass the quest. So all you're really missing out is the event coins and that moon gem, which is good. But from this point on, the damage check is a lot easier to deal with. You're only dealing with one enemy, so you can use your single target metals or your random attack metals that have the max power. This is probably one of the hardest ones in this entire thing besides Sephiroth. All right, and we're back. I actually went out uh, to dinner with Kelly and Penelope. It was Kelly's sister's birthday. Uh, we went out, came back, and now I'm over here finishing this video off. And hopefully this will be up in time and I should be streaming in about an hour. But uh, I'm going to be doing Cloud now and Hades. These two are very easy. You can actually tank these. I'm going to show you everything that you need to do for these fights to make them very simple. So Cloud, I'm going to show you that you don't need any kind of like tanking metals or Defense Boost 5 Max. This is a Keyblade that has basically nothing on it. We're going to tap right through Cloud. Even without metals and defense on us, his Cross Slash can't kill us. Even, we don't have the defense from the metals himself. You know, we have strength and defense. He doesn't do enough power to actually kill us. So keep that in mind. You don't need a tanking metal and you don't need defense boost 5 max. You need second chance uh, for the last phase of this. So how does Cloud work? Cloud starts with 1 million bars of HP that are worth 20,000 each. 
I'm going to show you guys a quick setup. Don't ignore the setup. Forget about what my setup is. For this setup, look for your best negative 60 ground metals that you have and highest strength metals. Cloud is level 4,000. You don't need negative 60 ground. You just need high multiplier slots and make sure your metals have attack boost 8 max, 9 max, and the most strength possible. Uh, plus 1,000 trades or even that key R20. Phenomenal metal how much strength it comes with. But uh, Cloud does start off with buffs. You do want to remove them if you want to. Do a fast one. But you don't need to because like I said, Cloud will not kill you. He can't kill you until he hits his threshold of 500,000 bars of HP. So you see how there's 954,000 there? When he hits exactly 500,000 or just a little below that, he goes into second phase and has a revenge attack that takes your HP recovery. But let me quickly show you here uh, that you just don't have to do anything about this. Uh, forget the friend metal. The friend metal was for the other phase. I was trying the Blizzard Lord to lower their power strength. It didn't work out. So you can see we got all that going on, all that good stuff here. He is going to trigger exactly at that 500,000 mark. And I want to show you a little trick if you can't copy my tanking setup. So I'm going to activate one more of these. I'm going to tap this one. This might be too much strength. Here we go. Perfectly. Okay, you see I'm at 505. From this point on, I'm just going to buff and tap. Until we get to a very close part or line up the perfect attacking metal. So I know my young Xehanort is not my strongest metal. So I'm going to click here. I know Aqua is not my strongest metal against this guy, so I'm going to click here, click it again, make sure that we're not going too far. But I know my young Xehanort does a lot of damage, but I'm pretty sure we can still make it a little further than this. So we're going to click one more time, click again. As long as we don't drop below that 500,000, he won't go into his next phase. What I want to do here is activate one of my strongest attacks. So I'm going to swipe here. My Sephiroth is my strongest hitting metal. What's going to happen is that 500,000, once you hit the next threshold underneath that, like if I tap with Sephiroth, he's going to attack me. That's going to take away my HP recovery, and he's constantly going to be able to kill us from this point on. Everything 500,000 and up, you guys can take your time to get here. Don't waste any supernovas. Don't waste none of these. Whatever you have, don't waste any of them until after 500,000. But here's a little trick. Tap all the way until you get to this point. Use your strongest metal so you can rip through as much HP as you can for the next phase. Because now this, we only have this turn plus second chance. We have two turns to take down 420,000 bars of HP. And this is where you go ham. This is where you activate your supernova metal with the overwrite, Kyrie or Shion. Activate that 250% guilt from lightning or... Uh, any of these metals actually. One, two, and three, they all raise by 250 or 260. So I'm gonna activate Sephiroth here. It does damage as well. And then you just go ham. Because now you can see everyone has a guilt bonus of 540% or according to theirs. So this is where you want to rip through this as fast as possible. My setup's really broken, so it's only gonna take me this one turn. Uh, but that's the whole point to get that extra little kick there. If you guys were missing some HP and you're trying to upgrade sub slots, just make them go to 500,000, cut it by your strongest attack. That's 80,000 bars of HP less that you have to deal with. Now, let's tank this guy. You can tank him, and you can tank Hades. So, same deal here. You want to bring in a setup that does damage, but it doesn't have to do crazy damage. You can actually just turtle the entire fight and walk away from it. And that's this setup right here. Let me break this down to you. I do have a copy metal, copy my Demix, which gives perfect buffs basically over five turns. So I have defense and PSM defense up by seven and target strength down by four. He also ignores enemies' counters, which is good for any of them that has counters. Not Cloud, though. So I'm going to catch that twice every turn. You can get away with casting it once a turn. I don't think he actually debuffs you, but just in case you want to double cast it, make it go quicker. Bring in your attacking medals and bring in an overwrite medal like Kyrie that has negative two uh, PSM strength down. Kyrie does this. Uh, Hero does this. Uh, there's a couple of other medals that do this. Look for the medals that actually lower enemies PSM, power, strength, and magic defense down. That's the important part to actually make this work. Uh, it depends on your HP. We can talk about HP traits as well. But on their filter, uh, click on this one. This is attribute strength down. And look for the medals, like the old foretellers. Osset here, he does targets negative 7 def defense. Here we go. Negative 3 speed strength. So if you're facing a speed enemy... Use Osset here. If you have Hero, Hero does two of them down as well. Target, negative two, PSM strength. That works as well. I don't know if Ienzo has it. Let me see. 15 defense for us. Negative eight strength on the enemy and negative three magic. So if you face a magic enemy, use Ienzo there. So you want to bring in something. Kyrie, Shion, 
foretellers, they all do that job to lower the PSM. The more PSM you lower, the more you can tank. This is the key. You can raise your defense up to 15 for everything, lower the enemy's attack down to 15 for strength, but if you don't have that PSM buff in there, you're gonna need a lot more HP trades. So the key one that's gonna be the best for all these quests, not all of them, but the two I'm gonna show you for tanking is Hero. If you have Hero at a seven star, evolve him into a Supernova Plus, because his Supernova ability actually lowers the enemy's PSM strength down by five, which makes a big difference when you're trying to tank stuff. But for this one, I want to bring it down to three. I do have Ossid, thankfully. So Ossid has right here, negative three speed strength. So we're going to bring in Ossid here, put him in the front. We're not going to have a strong setup. This is going to be tanking. We're going to tank through the whole thing. There's a couple of key things about Cloud, though. If you can use the hero, then you can gain yourself three turns instead of two turns at the end when he hits his next threshold. So just having hero take up a slot is going to make a big difference. You can also just have Demix there in five turns. He's going to have those buffs carried over for you. So we're going to go back into this. It also helps if your friend metal is a tanky metal. So use a friend Demix, use a friend Hero, use a friend whatever tanky metal you don't have. Use it off your friend. Ask your party to share them. But I'm going to auto battle this all the way to the point of 500,000. And we're going to see how much damage he actually does to us. All right. We're getting to the point where he's going to retaliate on us right over here. He's about to do 9,766 damage because we're at three down. If we were only at two down, he does 11,000 to me. He dropped down to 9,000 now. And I'm pretty sure if you activate hero, he'll drop down even further than that. So let's look at the bars right now. I'm going to show you all the buffs and debuffs I currently have on him. And you might be asking yourself, well, we only have 5,000 bars of HP. You are correct. Yes, you are. But if you can lower him by 5 attribute strength down, you're going to lower his attack even more. And on top of it, add HP traits on metals. All you need is one metal to do damage every single turn. The rest you just need to tank. So when we click here, watch him. 9,974. If we can add 800 HP traits to us, we can tank that, especially if you can lower it a little further. Or, like I said, you also just gain one more turn with activating Hero, and maybe Hero has 800 HP. It's like a mixture. So it's tankable. It's just going to take a very specific setup. You're going to need the Demix for the perfect debuffs down. If you don't have Demix, just a bunch of trait, uh, sorry, defense medals that have 800 HP trait. Because if you can even just use your Kyrie or Shion or any of those metals I show you for uh, negative 2, you got to get around 11,000 bars of HP. But with this setup, 9,000. And if I had Hero as a 7-star Supernova, you'd probably need less, less than that for one extra turn. But you're losing out there. You want to try to go for the whole tanking. So it's an idea. I don't have the medals for it, but it's possible. The one you want to look forward to is the one where you get them down to 500,000, cut it down, and then burst them as fast as you can. All right, so Hades. Hades got like a couple of phases going on for him. You can tank this one, sometimes fully, sometimes not fully. It depends if he does a crit or not. It depends on RNG like the rest of the Hades Cup. So Demix alone being copied once should be able to do this perfectly if you can time it right. And you have yourself the PSM defense down, sorry, attack down, making him negative two magic down for the override ability there. If you got more, the more you can tank. So let's go into Hades. He's actually one of the easier ones. We're going to go into this setup and explain everything as we go. Hades starts with with 1 million bars of HP. Right now you see 999,995 plus the orange ones and the green bar. That's a million bars of HP, each worth 20,000. Just to clarify that because I keep seeing people in comments being confused. <laughs> so we're going to go in, overwrite. We're going to do as much damage as we can. When he hits 70% HP, that is 700,000 bars of HP there he's going to do more damage. During this phase though, above 700,000, he's going to hit you with a small attack that debuffs you. So any buffs you have on you are gone. So your defense buffs are not going to carry over. So we're going to show you that right now. I'm going to slow that down. You can see he has all his buffs and debuffs on him. I have full buffs, but when he hits us with that little flame, poof, everything's gone, but he doesn't kill us until we get him below 700,000, which is a 94,000 bars of HP. So we're going to go through this again, get him right to that 700,000 mark. You guys can do the same trick you did with Cloud, get him at 700,000 exactly, and then use one of your biggest hits. Because after that, you got to rush him down. But now that he's at 677,000, you're going to see that he's going to do less damage. I mean, sorry, more damage that he's going to one-shot us. And because we're only doing two turns of buffs right now, he's actually going to kill us. So here comes his attack. I'm going to slow this down so you guys can see it. This is where he starts doing big hits below 700,000. 
hit us for 49,000. So, during this phase, this is where tanking starts to come in. We're going to activate the Kyrie here to get that negative 2 magic attack down. Everything else here is just how much damage you can do. So, let's just go do the damage. But you got to make sure that you're using your buff medals. So, buff number 1, buff number 2, our defense is up by 15. 15 general and 15 magic up. He's got negative 15 general attack down and negative 2 magic down as well. So, last hit right here. Now, watch how much damage he's going to do to us. It can be a crit sometimes, and it's going to do 44,000 and kill you, or he'll do just enough that it won't. 5,721. So, even if that doesn't happen every single time, you're at least buying yourself a couple more turns by having that Demix set up there. You can set up Demix in the beginning, but it takes away too many turns. So, having the copycat copy and Demix makes a big difference here. So, we're going to let this run through. And let that buff go through there. Go to times three just to show you guys that it's consistent sometimes and sometimes it isn't. You just got to make sure you activate that Kyrie or whatever's lowering his PSM attack down. And then the rest of it is just damage over time. He hit us for 45,000 there. So the other one was 5,000. Even though we had perfect buffs anyways and he had deep attack down, he still killed us because of a crit. At least that's what I think it is. I can't see what it's not. I'll let, it, I'll let this slowly play through you guys right now. Look at our buffs. Our buffs have 15 magic right there, and you saw the 15 general defense up as well. And then you look at his, and he's got that. I think our 15 is going to show for us. See, negative 15 on his, negative 2 on his. So when we tap here, he doesn't debuff us, and he hit us for 5,679. So I got another turn to go a little bit more ham on him to continue doing damage. So if you've got like a half-half setup, and you can't beat him 700,000 bars of HP in two turns or three turns, then you guys can do this because he has no revenge value. Unlike Cloud, who will kill you when he hits 500,000, he won't kill you when he hits 700,000. So you have three turns to get 700,000 bars of HP. There you go again. We just got ourselves another turn. I think it might be HP thresholds where he will do the crit or not the crit. Who knows? I haven't had enough practice for that. I've just done this maybe like 30 times to figure out what I need to defense down and all that. So those are the results. Here we go. Another result of 5,457. So you can see we're buying time here. We're chunking down that HP. He's not killing us. We're not activating our HP recovery. Second chances when he does that amount of damage. So just in case we don't kill him here, I'm not going to activate the friend mail. Let's see if he does another crit on us. At least I think it's a crit. Again, our defenses are perfectly up. Let's slow this to speed down. Tap on him. Our defense is 15. His attack was down. You can see right now when he goes to the next phase, it's still 15. But he still crit us. So... It earns you some extra turns. If you're super lucky, you won't die at all. I've had a run where it just didn't do the 44,000. It only did 5,000 and something. If you need more, add the HP traits to give yourself plus 800 HP from whatever medals you have to mix it up. But have a decent amount. Two tanking medals, as you guys can see here. Kyrie for the overwrites for the PSM strength down. It doesn't need to be overwrite. Just have that PSM strength down. And I have two attackers plus my friend medal. Your friend metal could be Demix since Demix is kind of older and newer players won't have it. Or you need a mixture of other tanking metals. So that's the three strategies I have for this. I know it's not amazing. I know it's very specific for some of them. Uh, you guys don't need to copy the tanking metals exactly, but you do need those tanking metals if you want to tank this, especially if you want to tank Cloud. But Cloud, 500,000 bar bars of HP in two turns. It's not too bad to save all your supernova. And then these guys, yes, it's tankable, but you're only going to be able to tank one or the other and cross your fingers on RNG because this is an RNG fight. They can both attack you for no damage and just keep raising their HP if you're lucky. It's just as they raise your HP, make sure you do more damage than they uh, do theirs. They're negative 60 ground, sorry, aerial. They count as aerial enemies. Cloud and Hades count as a ground enemy if you want those traits to do more damage. Hopefully, though, something here helped you guys out. Uh, this is what I've came up with so far, running this quest a couple times over and over and over again. Cloud, Hades, tankable-ish. Especially Cloud, if you can get the right HP and lower that attack down, you can do it, but you need perfect traits of 800 HP, 800 HP. If you have a metal that does that, and you can get to 11,000, almost 12,000 bars of HP, you're good with this setup. But that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to leave anything down below to help out the community, your setups, how you beat it, what's most important, um, leave it down below so everyone can pass this. Again, skip tickets, the purple ones, makes you pass a quest, but you don't get any rewards. If you guys think you could beat Sephiroth, you guys can do that as well, because that's where the 5,000 jewels are hiding.
If you did enjoy the video though, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling and I'll see you in the next one.